Hey everyone, there's Soft Junkie 105 here with another gun review. This is the WE um, Big Bird or the Smith & Wesson M&P replica. Um, this is a full size version. I got it off airsplat.com. Um, let's look at the box real quick. It's got the WE logo. Um, it's got a picture of a toucan because that's what they decided to call it. Picture of the gun, gas blowback type made in Taiwan basic basic box okay let's go ahead and open her up we got your manual everything you need to take your gun down learn how to shoot the gun everything basic Chinese English all right let's move on to the gun with the gun you get the magazine and two different color back straps they decided to do pink and black. I won't be using the pink ones, so I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but you have three different um, thicknesses. You have a smaller one, one in the middle, and then a larger one. The gun comes with the thicker palm swell already um, installed on it. The magazine holds roughly 23 BBs. your basic magazine first impression of the gun it feels nice it feels realistic weight wise um, I really like the sights on it they glow in the dark um, the slide has kind of like a flat black kind of um, look to it it's a better look you got it says we tech right there on top of the barrel it says 9mm, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, you got ambidextrous magazine. You got ambidextrous slide releases this side and this side. To take the gun down you simply lock it back. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Lock it back like so, and then flip this down, and then it will come off. And basically, normal looking on the inside, nothing special. Um, the gun kicks smooth. I mean, there's no, it's a very controlled recoil. Um, let's see if I can get this back on. A very controlled recoil. I was surprised by the uh, the range on this pistol. The uh, the orange tip on it is actually metal. I don't know how many people would like that because it's kind of harder to remove. But I guess that's all up to you. Um, I really think it's a great replica. Feels just like the real gun. Um, really serves its purpose in airsoft. It was fairly gas efficient. I was able to get two mags out of it. Um, with it being, I mean, it's warm outside, 85 degrees. I mean, you have your accessory rail on the bottom for flashlights, lasers. Um, other than that, that's about it. So let me know what you guys think of the review. Um, Tell me what you think of this gun if you have it, and hopefully I'll be getting a shooting test of it up soon. I appreciate y'all guys watching. Please stay tuned. Airsoft Junkie 105 out.